Adobe's new Flash CS3 has built-in components to support captioning. Captioning your Flash content has never been easier. This short tutorial will show you how. The new captioning components in Flash work by reading in an XML file containing the caption formatting and timing data. The first step is to generate a Flash caption file. Of course, we recommend that you use Automatic Sync Technologies Caption Sync Server to get your caption file quickly and inexpensively. First, gather up your media file. I will assume here that your movie file is likely in some other format, such as a QuickTime movie or a Windows media file. In this example, I will use a short Windows Media movie. Next, log into your AST account and submit your movie for captioning. Submitting your movie is as simple as filling out this program submission form. We're going to have this program transcribed. Select our media file. There's our Windows Media Movie. And then click the Advanced Settings tab to select the output types that you need. You can select as many as you would like, but make sure to include the Flash DFXP format for captioning. Then, click the Apply Changes button, and go ahead and submit your program for captioning. When your movie has been captioned, the Caption Sync server will email the results back to you. Save them in the same location that you have your movie stored. I have them right here, as returned by the Caption Sync server. Next, let's start up Flash CS3. We'll open an ActionScript 3 document and bring in our movie using the file import function. Import video. There's our movie file. This will convert your source movie to Flash's native FLV format. Next we need to select our video encoding options, but we're just going to leave them as the default for this demo. Then select the skin. There are many skins to choose from, but make sure you choose one with the captioning feature built in. Got to give our project a name. And then we import our video. When the import is complete, an FLV playback icon will appear on your stage. Now, if you do not already have the Components window up, use the Window menu to pull up the Components window. Double-click the FLV Playback Captioning component to put it on your stage. At this point, there are two ways to go. The default behavior is to have the Caption window overlay the video, much like a TV display. The second option is to have the captions appear outside the video window. Let's start with the default behavior because it's a little bit easier. Ensure that the captioning component is selected on your stage, and then click the Parameters tab below. Make the following settings. Set the caption target name to Auto. Set the Auto Layout to True. Set the Simple Formatting to False. And finally, set the Source Field to Point at the XML file that you got from AST. And that's all there is to it. You can now publish your Flash movie. And we can launch the SWF file at results and you will see the captions. There's our uh, SWF file named test.swf, which is what we named the project. Yeah. 
and you can use the CC button to toggle the captions on and off. Now, let's look at the case where you want the captions to appear in a separate area from the video region. To do this, let's return to Flash CS3. To do this, open the user interface area of your components window and find the text area component. Drag it out onto your stage and position it where you'd like the captions to appear. With the text area selected, click the Properties tab below. Let's set the width to be the same as our video window, 240 in this case, and set the height to be sufficient to contain two lines of caption data. Note that the height setting is important. If you do not make it sufficiently high to contain your caption data, the second line of captioning will not appear at all. Okay, now let's assign a name to this component so that we can refer to it in other components. Let's call this one Cap Area. Once this is done, return to your stage and select the Captioning Playback component again. Next, click the Parameters tab below again. This time, we'll make some slight changes to the parameter settings. Make the following settings. Set the caption target name to the label that you gave to the text area, cap area in this case. Set auto layout to false. Set the simple formatting to false. And finally, set the source field to gain to point at the XML caption file that you got from AST. Once again, publish your Flash movie. Okay, let's take a look at it. We'll launch the SWF file it resulted. And you'll see the captions now appear in the window below. And the caption button will toggle them on and off just as before. That's it. With AST's Caption Sync server, captioning your Flash content is...